Silence Begin. of the Lambs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and go. Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. First time I've seen this movie. Same here. And I feel like people are going to be upset with me. Uh, oh, I did they're not, definitely going to be upset. <laughs> I did not enjoy this movie. I know I, it's a classic. Yeah, but it's not that great. No, and part of the it's, issue, one, is it came out in 91. So that's, yep. what, 27 years ago? So Jeez. the all the effects are 27 years old. So at the time, right. it was probably mind-blowing when it happened. No. no. It came out the same time as Jurassic Park. That was way better. Uh, yeah, but what movies shown, like, people sliced up and hung up on a crucifix and all that type of stuff? Not in Jurassic Park. Uh, like, it was probably yeah. disturbing at the time. Oh, I'm sure. And then, um, by now, there's a lot of things that have taken parts from this movie. Right. Where... The Office. <laughs> the Office, or... Um, <laughs> Uh, I was thinking Saw, the original Saw. I uh, so at the end of this movie, uh, the guy uh, Hannibal Lecter pretends to be a dead guy, and when mm-hmm. he's laying down, I was like, "Oh, that's Hannibal Lecter." Like I knew right away. Oh, see, I actually didn't know that. Oh, really? I cause... and so I I was actually surprised. I thought that was cool, but that was really the only thing I enjoyed about the whole movie. So that was the plot twist in the first Saw movie too. Yeah, was much. the bad guy is just laying on the ground the whole time, and so when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, that's Pretty clearly cool. him." Yeah. And uh, so that like, there's just a lot of things that just felt very um, telegraphed or overdone, and it's not yeah. it's not this movie's fault. I think a lot of movies have copied it since then, but it's just old, and. Uh, and that's the problem with seeing a movie like that for the first time so late, you know? Mm. Like, if we had seen this movie 20 years ago... Yeah. And and enjoyed it then, like, even now, we could probably watch it and still enjoy it. Yeah. Even though it's the same, you know, it's still old and it's still, like, been used for a hundred different things. But the fact that we never saw it in its prime definitely hurts it and yeah i mean that's nobody's fault but i guess ours really but it's there's I, i've got a handful of movies that are supposed to be these classics right mm. that I, I i never for whatever reason i never saw as a kid or growing up and then i finally get around to see him and i'm just like i didn't like any of that yeah and i hate to say it i really hate to say it because i know it's a beloved movie by a lot of people but I don't care for the Goonies. <laughs> That's a, a weird turn this has taken. <laughs> Goonies and Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, I'm sure I would have liked it if I saw it as a kid. But uh, I saw it for the first time, like uh, probably a year ago. And I was like, meh. Nothing special. How did you see the Goonies for the first time only a year ago? I have no idea. It's a weird one to miss. I just, I never got around to it. No, yeah. no, I don't really like the Goonies either. I don't, I don't get the why people love it so much. It's fine. Uh, it's a kids' movie for sure, but like, yeah, it's pretty forgettable. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> like uh, Stand I've, By Me I've is m- much better. I'd much rather oh, watch yeah, Stand By sure Me is. than yeah. I mean that might not that might not be a fair comparison because they're very different genres, but they came out it's around the same time. It's just a darker time. version of Goonies. Yeah, less uh, booby traps. What do you call them? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. In uh, the Goonies, what was what do you call them? Was it booby traps? I feel like there's a joke about that, wasn't there? I don't. Know, I haven't I'm seen sure that movie. Was. And That's so, how forgettable it is. Yeah. Anyways, Silence of the Lambs. Stop trying to distract me with the Goonies. Oh, sorry. Did you find uh, Anthony Hopkins uh, disturbing in this? Did he? Was he creepy to you? Um, kind of like his voice a little bit, mm-hmm. but but not like 
him necessarily or his mannerisms or even anything that he did really yeah. just his his voice i guess was a little creepy but not enough to like make me like ooh what a chilling performance yeah well but, but the same i'm sure it was great at the time well, that's what they talk about a lot was his performance or the uh the farva beans line how he improvised the tongue sound and oh, uh really? yeah and it I like to me it was like this is not creepy at all. I was just I, I was so we're bored. just too desensitized. Like we've yeah. seen so many worse things, you know, <laughs> with true. with even more upsetting things. Graphic exactly that you go back to this and it's like, eh. Like I saw that was on like a cartoon I just saw the other day. I don't know that ain't nothing anymore. <laughs> yeah, the, I think I saw that on an episode of Caillou. The scene where he. <laughs> <laughs> he bites the the police officer's nose. Yeah, the way they filmed it was like, I mean, they it was you don't see anything. You have to infer everything that's happening, and yeah, it's it's, to, it's all off screen. It's not scary at all to yeah. me. I, like I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm so brave that this movie didn't scare me. I was just so bored, and I was shocked because I thought I went into this expecting to be disturbed. Expecting to have oh, me like, I wasn't even out. expecting that. I kind of figured it would be like uh, a good movie, but not not as scary as it it would have been. You uh-huh. know? And then it was barely even that. Well, so like, I, I know I've talked about it a few times. So I saw Child's Play when I was a kid, yeah, and I was terrified. And I right. never watched scary movies growing up because I was always like, I hate scary movies. I'm too afraid. Until I got into like high school age and then I started watching them. Mm-hmm. But there, there's still a lot of these horror movies that I just missed that came yeah, out when no, I was same a- here. I just, I either wasn't allowed to watch them or if I was, I had, by that time I had no desire. Yeah. And so like, to this day, I still remember watching the sixth sense for the first time. And I know that's not like the probably top of anybody's list of scariest movies. But for not ever watching scary movies at the time and then watching that movie, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> like, it kept me up, like, multiple nights. You're just worried you're a dead person. Yeah, and no one has neither confirmed or denied. My family hasn't spoken to me in years. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, yeah, so, no, watching this, I still had that that connection to my younger self, I guess. To where I'm like, this is a scary movie. And so when I went into it, I was like, not nervous or scared, but like anxious. I was like, oh, I don't, because I don't like, I don't like being stressed out <laughs> by movies. I don't like being scared. Oh, like, no. And so not. I was like, that's just not my thing. Because this was your recommendation. And when you brought it up, I was like, oh, yeah, I should watch it. It's supposed to be great. I don't really yeah. want to. And then I watched it and I was like, wow, this is slow. She really is so boring as a character. Like I just watched um on Netflix, uh Mind Hunters. Mind Hunters? Mm-hmm. Is that right? Is that what it's called? I I I have no idea. Uh it's it's all about it takes place in a similar time. Uh Oh, uh, do you mean uh the Odd Life of Timothy Green? Yes. Okay. I think it, I think it's Mind Hunters. It's it's about the FBI interviewing serial killers and forming ways to um like make profiles of serial killers mm-hmm. so they like they can come up on a crime scene and like oh he did this he did that he did this that means it's probably someone who fits this profile and that okay that it's the acting is kind of goofy it's kind of hard to get past but once you do the uh the story is very engrossing and you you really get sucked in and that is very like heavy. It feels very disturbing. Yeah. The the type of stuff because it's a lot more uh, like sexual crimes and stuff like that. Where mm-hmm. it's I don't know. Um, but to me, like that was, was really good. The the cops were very um, had a lot of layers to them. Mm-hmm. And Jodie Foster was so boring in this. And yeah, it, it, I, I don't care for Jodie Foster in general. Yeah. 
I, it never, it never felt clear why she was chosen either. Did that make sense to you? Just because she was a woman? Um, because she was in the academy. She wasn't even an officer. Yeah, she wasn't. Or she an was, agent. Yeah, she wasn't a detective or anything. So, yeah, I don't know why they chose her. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, because they they say at one point, oh, he he chose you because you're pretty, and that will disarm Lecter. But that's like, you don't have anyone else who's attractive who has experience. I also, guess I, you don't have anyone who's more attractive than Jodie Foster. <laughs> like that's it. That feels mean, there, Taylor. Was was there not like a, a single other woman around? <laughs> I mean, doesn't even have to be a woman at that point. It's Jodie Foster. <laughs> Why do you hate Jodie Foster so much? I don't hate her. I just don't care for her whatsoever. Is her it, acting or her face? It's because she's not Mexican. <sighs> yeah. If she was Mexican, you'd be all about it. Well, yeah. If she was Mexican, then she'd be hot. I don't know. It's a whole <laughs> different story. <laughs> um. So the story is the movie, the plot. There is a serial killer who is what's his name? Is a Buffalo Bill? Is that right? Did uh, I just make yes. that up, or is that from something else? I think it's no. I think that's right. That right. He is Buffalo Bill. kidnapping women and uh, holding them hostage and starving them for multiple days so their skin gets loose so he can kill them and take their skin and turn it into uh, a skin suit so yeah. he can be – so he can dress up as a woman? So he can pretty much be a woman. Um, now, I thought that guy plan. was great. Yeah, that was, uh. Was Ted Levine or Ted Levine? I'm not sure. He is, he's in a lot of the stuff. Um, I don't know if you ever watched the show Monk. Not, not really, no. He was in that. He was, uh, he was in Wild Wild West. He was in, uh, he, I don't know, he's, he's a very different person in almost everything he does. Yeah. Like, I mean, different from his character in this. Like, he's, he's very gruff grizzled type uh type of actor and then seeing him in this i didn't i honestly i didn't know that it was him and it took me a while but his his voice he's he's got a distinctive voice mm. and that's how i i realized it was i was like that's the same dude it was crazy how'd you feel about his naked dance in this oh, i loved it <laughs> that's that is classic cinema <laughs> Oh man, that was, that's so funny. I like, how much, how much would you have to get paid to do that on camera? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> and then how much do you think we'd have to pay people to watch it? <laughs> yeah, it would definitely wreck the movie. <laughs> oh man, that yeah, was. Yeah, I don't know. But... It was weird, but it was like, it, it wasn't so. I don't know. I don't know if it was the way it was written or just the way that he was portraying that character. It wasn't so weird that I was like, "This is too weird." Yeah, it, like it fit for yeah, me. Yeah, like, it I felt like, believable. Oh, yeah. I I bet he does this all the time. Like this is a natural thing. In real life, the actor does that all the time, or that character, or both. Yes, both. <laughs> well, that's why they picked him. <laughs> that was the audition. Was just that dance. Yeah, there were like fifty guys lined up. <laughs> He did the best. Um, so he is, so he's killing women to make a woman's skin suit, which the lotion thing makes so much more sense. That finally just clicked in my head. He's making them oh, put really? on lotion. <laughs> yeah. So the skin to, is to nice. To keep their skin soft. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but so Clarice is chosen from the academy to come and talk to Hannibal Lecter to try to build you a profile nice. on, uh, Buffalo Bill. I, I like I'm so confident that's right, but it feels wrong every time I say it. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's right, Buffalo Bill. Um, because Anthony Hopkins, H Hannibal Lecter, was the doctor for Buffalo Bill at one point in time. Yeah. Which I don't really know how they knew that. Yeah, I. That seemed like they didn't know that the two of them knew each other at all. 
Um, I don't know. I want to know, how do you think he got caught? Hannibal Lecter? Yeah. Uh, I don't think they say, do they? He was eating his victims. Nice. I feel, I feel like you just don't. I think you just run out, like of. Uh, you just run out of victims. No, like luck. That's not how serial like, killing works. <laughs> I think you. I guess I'm done now. I'll go back to being a person. <laughs> no, I, I would imagine there's only so long you can keep it going for, right? Like. No, I, I, I'm not saying like, oh man, I, I bet he's, he's so smart. How did mm-hmm. he ever get caught? I'm, I just mean like, how did he get caught? Like, I'm just curious about the circumstances. Yeah. Well, I think there's Was like prequels eat? to yeah, this. Yeah, there is. I plan to watch them eventually. Yeah. I don't really care really anymore. In a big hurry though. I yeah. thought, I thought I would. Beforehand, I, I was like, I'm going to watch all these movies. And then after I was like, eh, maybe I'll just read about it. Yeah. Just read the Wikipedia. So, in this day and age, do you think there is less serial killers, or do you think the FBI tries to keep it under wraps as much as possible? Because I feel like in movies from like the eighties and nineties, there were serial killers, and mm-hmm. they all had like a name, right? And it was yeah. like in a newspaper, just like we saw in this one, like Buffalo Bill strikes again. I'm yeah. like, you don't see that anymore. Is it because? They don't want them having the attention, or they don't want to assign them names. Yeah, they don't I, want to scare people. Um. Well, there was just the what was it? The Golden State Killer just got caught, didn't he? Golden State Killer, refresh my memory. That's oh a, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. So I, I, um, I don't think because I was gonna say originally, it's like maybe they stop giving names because they don't want to sensationalize it. But that's right. not true. The news is terrible. I was going to say, the news has never been... No, they don't care about that. Yeah. And they don't care about scaring people. They're all, it's all about the views or whatever. Yeah. So Well, they want to scare people. Right. So I wonder, like I said, I wonder if that's like a like a police, FBI thing. You know? They don't want to... Well, there's probably a lot less of them. I think it's a lot harder. So? Yeah, I think it's a lot harder to get away with it. If so serial killing just isn't the same anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, technology and all this different stuff. I think it's harder it's to get away with it unless it's completely random. Yeah. How yeah. many potential serial killers do you think are out there that actually just got caught after their first kill and aren't able to continue? Like, had they not been caught or were they intending to be serial killers? No, just had they not been caught, like, would they have eventually killed again and then killed again and maybe, like, developed a, a pattern? Yeah. Well, I don't know if anyone intends on being a serial killer from the get-go. Yeah, well, there's probably quite a few. And maybe they don't even know, you know, oh, you would have killed that they seven had, They had a dark passenger. They didn't know. A, they harbor butcher. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It, uh Cause they I, have no idea that they're going to fall in love with their sister. I would imagine a lot of first-time murders are going to yeah. be against someone you know, right? Like, that's the whole thing. If, yeah. a, if a woman dies, the first first person they check is the husband, the boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. Right. Like, it's like it's probably 95% of the time it's going to be someone she's in a relationship with. Yeah. And so... I think it's it's a lot easier to get caught now, and so you kill someone you know. Had you not get caught and you enjoyed it, maybe you continue on killing other people. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It is an interesting concept. Yeah. Why are you thinking about getting into the serial killer game? I'm, th- I'm thinking about it, but you kind of swayed me against it. Oh, sorry. I didn't even think about the fact that there's just too much technology. <laughs> there's a lot. I don't know if you've seen CSI. <laughs> oh, my friend, I used to do a podcast on CSI. <laughs> um, well, yeah, so Buffalo Bill is trying to make his uh, woman suit, which no way that would ever look normal, right? Um, yeah, so I don't know, do you, is he, 
does he think that he can like if he puts it on he will like be, be a, woman. a woman or just feel like a woman or actually like fool people into thinking that he's a woman the the what i took from it was he was going to fool people into thinking that he was a woman but it's going to look lot like easier leather ways face, to do right? that. oh for sure there's no way i i don't know i'm trying to think if I put on someone's face, how believable would it be? I don't buy it. Yeah, and it has to be... The proportions have to be the same. I don't know, though. Like, you ever put I mean, a ski mask on sideways? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's yeah, going to be like. You, just, you have to be... You have to have a very steady hand uh when you're making your cuts or uh, yeah your, your eye holes aren't going to line up <laughs> yeah that's going to be a big problem your eye holes your nose holes your mouth holes at all how many mouth holes do you have just one right so that doesn't need to be plural but if those don't line up it's going to look really weird yeah um yeah i don't know plus especially with it being a woman i feel like the face is definitely not going to match up you're going to end up stretching the, the woman's face. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I, do we, I don't know if he ever actually intended to take their faces, right? Because he just did his own hair and makeup. Well, the, I think on the mannequin was a face. Oh, was there? Yeah. I, don't, I just... I don't, it was such a weird plan. And they... They talk about him being transgendered, but they talk about it like it's still not the case. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? In the movie, they're like, yeah. he thinks he wants to be transgendered, but he doesn't actually. Otherwise, he would have gone through with it already. And I was just like, what? What is? Yeah. What's? He's killing women to try to be one, but that's not enough effort. Like, uh, and I know it was the yeah. na- the nineties, so like transgenderism, I don't know if that's right, was a a very different thing than it is now. But still, right. it was like this is weird. Like, I hard to tell. <laughs> that's that's really all I got for that. I don't know. So Clarice is picked out of her academy to go and interview with Hannibal Lecter to try to piece together a profile. They build a relationship. He respects her. She's just trying to get as much out of him as possible. And she's able to figure it out. And she's the only one who figures it out somehow. Yeah. Which... Because she's Jodie Foster. That's true. She is a genius. <laughs> um, oh, what the guy? So the other guy in the cell who says, "I cut myself and throw something at her." Mm-hmm. The semen, right? That's what he threw. Oh, for sure. For uh, sure. Okay. I was like so confused when that happened because I thought I was like, "Oh, he he cut himself and then he threw something at her," and I was like, "Wait, what?" And because I thought he splashed his blood on her. Uh, oh no! But then the, she wishes. <laughs> um, but Hannibal Lecter whispers in his ear and kills him, or gets him to kill himself. Which? <laughs> what do you? What? What? I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. No matter how smart you are, you don't think so? Not because he only had like a like five seconds to do it. Right? It was like how real. How long do you need? To convince someone to kill themselves? Yeah. I don't know. Probably a lot longer than five seconds. Ten? (laughs) Fifteen? Thirty? Come on. Are you even trying at that point? I guess not. You just got to get in their ear and say, do it. Do it. (laughs) Do it. Do it. I I don't like where this is going. (laughs) Hopefully no one Okay, I better stop now. Suicidal. Nobody... (laughs) It's just a joke. You're Don't gonna, do it. You're going to have a bunch of blood on your hands. Nah, I ain't that Whisper it. Do it. <laughs> into people's ears. Whatever they were thinking about, they're all going to go through with it. Oh, great, Taylor. 
We just started the purge. <laughs> That's not the purge. Do it. <laughs> You're a terrible person. Um, <laughs> so she she figures it all out and ends up saving the mayor's daughter. Uh, yeah. Hannibal, um, Hannibal Lecter helps a little bit, but it uses it all as a plot to get away. Gets but arrested. She was, she was betraying him, right? Certain like, points, yeah. There was a deal that they had talked about that she was never actually going to hold up. Yeah, he wanted they to just see the the forest, and yeah. so she said he got she got that worked out, but it never was set up, and so he went straight to the mayor, and said that he knew her, and then he like started getting super creepy, asking, "Oh, did you?" Did you breastfeed your daughter? And, she, oh, <laughs> and it was just like, and it, the whole point was just to get under his skin. But it, right. it was just like, man, whoever wrote this is super weird. Yeah. Who did write this? Uh, Thomas Harris. Jody Foster. Ted Talley. I guess it was a book oh. originally. Oh, yeah, that's right. And, uh, but yeah, so. He he's in this cell in the middle of this giant room. He's got two guards, and he's able to uh, attack them and bite the nose off of one, and cuts the face off of the other. Then wears the face and pretends like he's dying to escape yeah. out of the ambulance. And none he of that. Puts the other one in the uh, elevator shaft. Elevator shaft. Yeah. Uh, none of that made any sense. I feel like no matter how bloody your face is, you would be able to tell someone's wearing someone else's face. <laughs> you think so? I think so. Don't um, You don't think so? I don't know. I, I feel like it's it's just not something that you would like think about looking at. So it's probably something really easy to pass over. But you would recognize... Like, you, you take in so much information if you know the person... And you would right. notice, like, oh, the shape of his body is different. He's 20 pounds heavier, 10 pounds lighter, or something. Like, I know you'd be, your everything would be going crazy, but you would, like, oh, the shape of this dude isn't quite right. You know what I mean? Like, I feel hmm. like your, your, your senses would be, like, yelling at you, like, oh, something's off here. Then you'd notice, oh, this... This is just Hannibal Lecter wearing a skin mask. I don't know. I, I mean... I'm going to try it. We'll see. Got, <laughs> I'm going to do it with you, Joshua you're, you're and see be, if you recognize the difference. Do it. Yeah. You're going to be so distracted by the dude who's been like strung up. That's true. There was the guy who... And, and plus, it's probably someone that you know, right? So then it's traumatic. I don't know. I, I just think it's it it's possible to to not even like... Yeah. There's nothing in your head going, hey, check his face. Make sure that he didn't cut off his face and then switch outfits with this other guy really quick. Just check. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I guess. I just... And, it, and it's dark. I don't know. What? <laughs> I, I could see it. They would have just shot him right in the face, right? If they realized. Like, oh, this <laughs> we found him. He's right here. He's just wearing a <laughs> skin mask. He's wearing our friend's face. <laughs> Should we just shoot him? <laughs> All right, I'm going to shoot him. Because <laughs> he's not, I mean, they they make it out like he's this imposing person, but he's really not, no. right? Like, Can you imagine how foolish would he look too, right, where he thinks he's getting away with it? And like immediately they're like, no, he's got a, he's got a fake face on. And they just like pull the face off and he's just standing like, oh, man, I thought that would work. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there was the guy who was strung up. In the crucifix pose, mm-hmm. his guts were all hanging out of his body, and this was, this had to be the the shocking moment of the movie, right? This was uh, what people would be freaked out by when it came out originally. The water cooler moment, <laughs> and uh, it, it's like, I mean, again, it's twenty seven years old, but you compare it to anything in Saw, and it's yeah. so tame. You know, I wasn't shocked by 
by the visuals of it. I was more like the I'm engineering. Like, oh, that yeah, I was like that old man did this. <laughs> that is impressive. He had how how much time do you think he had to do this? He had like five minutes. Like, <laughs> do you think he had this like scene played out in his head, or did he wing the whole thing? He's like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna string this body up. Better cut the stomach open real quick. And final touch, I'm taking this guy's face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because Jigsaw takes a long time to prepare all his traps. Yeah, make sure everything's methodical. perfect. Mm-hmm. This was all by chance. Maybe before he was, he always like, okay, if I ever get the opportunity that I'm alone in a cell, but I have access to one of the guards and I can, I'm stronger than them. I'm going to bite the one's face off or bite his nose off. Then I'm going to string this other guy up and then take the nose guy's face. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. He took the if other I face, If I ever get he? in the situation. That, he strung up he nose, took, man. Okay, yeah, you're right. Sorry. He's like, I don't know if I'll ever be in that situation, but just in case, I don't want to be unprepared. Another another thing, they when Hannibal Lecter's laying on the ground, he's still alive. Are they... When they think it's the other cop, they think he's yeah. still alive. And the head, the like the sergeant or whatever is like, hey, you need to stay with him. Help him out. Keep him alive. And the guy's like, I don't know what to do. And he's like, it's, I don't remember his name. He's like, it's Jimmy. You have to do it. And I was like, come <laughs> on. Like, that guy should be 100% on board of trying to keep his buddy alive. Even if he doesn't know yeah, you him. Should, just you another cop. shouldn't have to be convinced. <laughs> To help out a fellow officer. Yeah. It's just like, like... Oh, I don't know. I didn't really know him. <laughs> like, we weren't even that cool. It'd be easier if I just let him die. <laughs> I don't know. It'd yeah. be a lot less uncomfortable. I'm kind of it's an like, introvert. Yeah. I don't know if you've read BuzzFeed lately, See, I'm but... Really, I'm this really isn't, shy. This isn't one of my ten things, you know, that introverts like I feel to really, do. Un- I feel really uncomfortable that you're asking me to do this. I'm going to take the day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Hannibal Lecter gets away, kills a bunch of people, calls Clarice, and is like, "I'm not coming after you. Don't worry, because whatever." Because I'm eating someone tonight. <laughs> I'm having friends for dinner. Is what he says. I'm having an old friend for dinner. And uh, it's the warden from the yeah. original, who was a bad guy for some reason. How do you um? Yeah, I'm trying to remember how he, what he did. He well, he like would. I think he was just shady, right? Yeah, he was shady, and then he would like mentally abuse people, and I think he actually like yeah. punched the guard or uh, Hannibal Lecter at one point. But when you're doing a serial killer movie, do you really need the warden to be the bad guy? Like you have Jodie Foster, yeah, who's can't the hero. The serial killer be the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, Jodie Foster. Who's the hero? Yeah, Buffalo Bill, who, he's not, like, I wouldn't say he's the antagonist, right? No, no, definitely not. It's it's the warden. He's the most, uh, he's the one who is stopping her the most. He's the one getting in the way the most. Right, so. Uh, and you really. Yeah, I guess he's the antagonist. You can, you really. You could have conflict between her and Anthony Hopkins without even bringing the warden into it at all. Like he could figure yeah, out—he he was unnecessary. Yeah, he Anthony Hopkins should be able to figure out, you know, oh, this deal is fake or whatever. Like he's smart enough to you add, you can do the conflict without having the warden come in and push buttons. Yeah, but don't worry, I'm sure he gets his in the end. Yeah, he gets uh, to have a nice dinner with Hannibal Lecter. Has this movie ruined that name? Hannibal? Yeah. Uh, I guess there's yes. Hannibal Burris. I never think of Hannibal Lecter yeah. when I think Hannibal Burris. I used to, no, but now that I kind of know who he is, uh, I agree with you. Yeah, do you think this movie would be better if Hannibal Burris played Hannibal Lecter? 100%. Yeah, it's the way to go. Who would be Jodie Foster's character if that's the case? Now, am I looking for someone that I would actually like, or are we looking for a modern-day terrible actress? 
Because then it's Amy Schumer. <laughs> Amy Schumer and Hannibal Burris replacing <laughs> Anthony Hopkins and Jodie Foster. <laughs> that is a masterpiece waiting to happen. That is, that is perfect. All right. Well, anything else about Silence of the Lambs? It was, it's fine. I don't think it's really worth seeing if you haven't seen it. Like, it, you could probably watch it and appreciate the stuff they do now because of this movie, but other than that, I don't really see a point in seeing it. Yeah, it's it's fine. I'm fine without it. I bet the book is more enjoyable than the movie. Well, I was gonna. That's what I was gonna say. I, I'm sure the warden probably has a bigger role in the book. Yeah, and, and you know, probably not something that you would want to leave out of the movie. And then they just didn't really follow through with it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I would say watch Mine Hunters on Netflix over this. It's more enjoyable. I think it's more interesting. Also, Odd Life with Timothy Green. Yes. All right. Well, we will be um, back in a couple of days with uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Robert Downey do Jr. It. And uh, do it. Do it. <laughs> Stop trying to kill people. I'm not personally killing anybody. Do it. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter <laughs> at I Seen That Pod. You can tweet to Taylor directly at Taylor Enixon and. Tell them to stop telling you to do it. Yeah, I, I check that uh, like once every six months. <laughs> uh, and I just checked it probably a month ago, so I ain't going to see it for a while. And uh, vote for one of us over on Patreon. Do it. Whoever, vote for Taylor. <laughs> whoever has for a, sure. the least amount of votes at the end of the month has to pay a punishment. And, uh, they we'll, have to watch Left Behind again. Oh, if you pick that movie, I'm going to punch you right in the nuts. <laughs> oh, so worth it. <laughs> because at that point, I would definitely have to choose it for each month. If I punched you, you would choose it for each month? I know. I might just do it anyways. I'm not going to let you do the Buffalo Bill move before I do it. I'm going to catch you by surprise. Oh, no deal. I'm out. <laughs> I was. Pl- that's what I was playing. <laughs> I <into figured>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, that's it. Silence of the Lambs. Uh, it's okay. It's boring. That's that is the end. Dun dun Do dun. It.